What's going on, Virgo? Welcome back. Hey, this is your March 2023 reading. So, this reading is going to be for March 1st through the 15th. So, you have Virgo anywhere in your chart. This reading is for you. Let's get some energies, Virgo, and jump right in. Okay. Okay, we have change. Um, I understand that nothing can grow or evolve without movement. Wow, something's changing. Something is kind of moving, moving forward. And we also have grief at the bottom. I understand that losing something is an opportunity to appreciate it. So you may be changing and evolving. You may be like releasing certain things from you but i feel like it may be hard to release these things it's hard to make progress sometimes it's it's hard to go through change virgo we also have a win-win outcome is forecast so i feel like this change is going to lead to something very beautiful okay uh, show the world the real you I feel like you're opening up to new opportunities, new lessons, new journeys. You know, you may be changing something about yourself in March. Maybe you're changing your hair, or you're changing the color. Um, you may be changing the way you dress or, you know, really working on your self-image. Okay, but I feel like there's something within you that you're changing. Something in you that you're changing. Okay, we have composure. So, I feel like you're trying to build your composure. Uh, maybe there's something that you need to step back and create a solid plan for. Um... But I'm, I'm really getting the feeling like you're working on yourself. You're working on some inner healing is what I'm getting, Virgo. Um, let's get some tarot. What does tarot have to say for Virgo for March 2023, the 1st through the 15th? A message for Virgo. Okay. Yeah. Exactly what I was getting. You're working on yourself, Virgo. You're taking time out to rest and rejuvenate. You're kind of in this building phase. You feel like you, you work so hard, but you don't play enough. You know, I, I'm, I'm really feeling that very playful energy. That feeling of being just silly for no reason. <laughs> you know what I mean, Virgo? And just, you know, maybe dancing around the house and just being silly while you're doing your chores or some kind of situation. Okay, we have the high priestess. So, and I feel like this is a time that you are recreating yourself in a way, Virgo, that you're really trying to... Find yourself. You're trying to find who you are and where you fit in. I feel like that's where all this change is coming through. But during this evolution of finding yourself, Virgo, you're winning something great. You're winning this new journey, this new evolution into Virgo. You know, finding who Virgo really is. Finding what makes you happy, what, you know, makes you satisfied, what you want for the future. You know, I feel like you're really soul searching into what it is that you really want out of life. Okay, we have the two of pentacles. Yeah, I feel like you have so many priorities that you're juggling. So many choices you need to make. I feel like there's a lot of... There's a lot of decisions. There's a lot of things in your life that, that need your attention. 
and you feel like just running away sometimes. You feel like just packing up and going, just leaving everything behind, right? Um, but I feel like you just need to take time to, you know, take time out for yourself. Give yourself that attention that you would normally give someone else, okay? Because it's time to plant the seeds in you, Virgo, okay? You need to build yourself up. You need to make those pinnacles big and strong within yourself, okay? And I feel like that's exactly what you're, you're doing or you're in the process of doing in March is really building yourself up, really taking a look at the things that need changing and, and, you know, making the first steps, planting the seeds um, that will grow into Virgo's big, bright future, okay? The Two of Wands is looking towards the future, looking towards, you know, um, your growth, your expansion, and I feel like that's exactly what's happening, Virgo. You're expanding. You're growing. You're trying to look at things from a different perspective in order to gain more growth and evolution within yourself. So it's really, really beautiful energy because I feel like you're coming within this, like this self-knowing that you know, all is well with Virgo, as long as Virgo can take time out for themselves. You know, you can't just put energy into everything else. We have to build ourselves back up and, you know, put that energy within ourselves as well. Okay. Um, let's get some clarification for Virgo. Tell me more about this situation, please. Okay. Okay, we have the Five of Pentacles in reverse. Wow. The Tower. The Knight of Swords. So I feel like some big changes need to be made so that you feel more accepted. Because right now I feel like you feel a little bit unappreciated, unaccepted, unwanted. Um, you're, you're not feeling like you want to feel. You know that you're worthy of so much more, Virgo. And you really need something to totally come to a complete change because I feel like with this knight of swords I feel like you're ready to take action you're ready to just run if things don't change very soon you're ready to just drop everything and just go um, maybe it's going on a vacation for yourself um, but it, it's time to speak your truth it's time to Put that communication out there that your needs need to be met. Um, hmm. Yeah, communication. There needs to be some truth said here. I've, I feel like you will be speaking your truth. You will be communicating what this is that you need. Okay? Because you're definitely ready for a change. We have the Seven of Pentacles again. So you're ready to plant seeds. And I feel like those seeds that you're planting are seeds that are within yourself. Okay, You're ready to make changes. You're ready to kind of feel something different. Because I feel like you're kind of in this same space all the time. You're kind of in this same box and you are are kind of struggling to get out of it you're struggling to get out of this rut so you're you're looking for more excitement more enjoyment and the seven of wands
You're tired of feeling like you need to protect your energy. I feel like you're doing a lot of protecting your energy because you don't want to rock the boat. Is what I'm getting. But you're at a crossroads. You you're kind of at you're you're kind of at the decision to where you know I'm getting tired of the situation. I'm either going to rock the boat or I'm going to lose my mind. <laughs> That's what I'm getting with this two of swords. I'm like you you're at this crossroads, this very important crossroads where you need to make a decision. You know, are you going to put yourself first or are you going to be in the back burner? You know, um Hmm. I feel like you're going to speak your truth. Definitely feel like you're going to speak your truth in this situation. Because I feel like you have the need to be totally honest with yourself in your situation. Okay, um, okay, and these are the cards that are at the bottom. Okay, we have the, the Nine of Pentacles, the Empress card, the Queen of Swords, and the Four of Swords. So I feel like there's a need to be totally honest with yourself. It's time to put yourself first. You want to feel independent, self-sufficient, that there's there's something that needs to be built up there's some kind of attention that you need to take and i feel like i really feel like this is attention to yourself this is putting yourself first first putting your needs first for once virgo because I feel like if you don't take this step, I feel like, you know, these wolves out here, outside of these swords, you know, you're going to feel like, man, they, they're, they're just surrounding me. You know, that's just the energy I'm getting with this card. I'm getting like, You feel like something is being devoured and there's not very much left. But I feel like you're you're feeling like that, Virgo, because you're so depleted. You're so stretched thin because you are worrying about other people's needs and not your own. So I feel like with this Empress, this Queen of Swords, and the uh, Four of Swords, the Nine of Pentacles as well. It's time to focus on Virgo. Rebuild yourself. Replenish your energy. Okay? Um, take time out for you. I understand that there's other people who may be in your life that need to have you in their life that you may be responsible for. But you also have a responsibility to yourself to take care of yourself, okay? If, if you aren't around to be responsible for these other people, then what good is it, okay? That's exactly what I'm getting, Virgo, okay? Let's get some angel cards for Virgo. What does Virgo need to hear right now? In this situation, what does Virgo need to hear? Okay, we have Ascension. Move into your true self. Rise above the darkness. The light is here. Okay. And we also have soul expansion. Your consciousness is expanding you understand the connections between all things so your your intuition may be very high at the moment as well um we also have phases and cycles there is a beginning within every ending illusions are revealed and released so i 
I feel like at this time, Virgo, there may be a lot of things that, that you're like releasing. I feel like you, you may need to release things out of your life to create more time and space within your own. Um, you may be decluttering your home. You may be really working on your home um, to free up space, to clear your mind of clutter, clear your house, clear your environment. Okay, um, we have New Moon and Leo. Shine. Show your worth, Virgo. You are worthy of all things. So that's Leo energy, strength. Shine your energy. You are loved. Okay, and we have first quarter moon in Cancer. Push through any insecurity. So it's time to bury those insecurities. Just purge and release any insecurities that you have because you are valuable. You are loved. You shine like a diamond, uh, Virgo. I don't care if you're male or female. You shine like a diamond. Okay? Okay, and we have... New Moon in Cancer, relax. It's time to rest and relax. Okay? And we also have Full Moon in Leo. We have a lot of Cancer in Leo. Um, there may be someone very s significant in your life who is a Cancer or Leo. But that may be your Moon and Sun, uh, Moon and Rising sign as well. Hmm. You may want to take a look at your chart, see what you have in your chart, Virgo. But I feel like there's Cancer and Leo in your chart because it's very strong. Okay. And we have Full Moon and Leo. Go wild. So take time to have fun. Take time to really get out there and enjoy yourself. Don't just try to focus on, you know, all work and no play. It's very important to get out there and play as well. Release that, that bounce up energy. Okay. And we have last quarter moon in Aquarius. Reflect on your priorities. So it's time to take a look at your priorities and maybe reevaluate. Maybe kind of shuffle them in a way where they're not so overwhelming. Okay. All right, uh, that is what I have for you, Virgo. So if this message resonates, please like and subscribe. Hit the bell so that you don't miss any uploads. And take a look at your sun, moon, and rising for more clarity on your situation. And I will have all of them uploaded uh, very soon, I believe. So uh, take a look at your sun, moon, and rising, Virgo. Okay, and until your next reading, many, many, many blessings to you, love and light.